brace yourselves for September because it is going to get nasty. It is not going to be a straight line. It is going to be a staircase. But it is going to get nasty. But it is going to represent an incredible opportunity. And I really want to talk about what an incredible opportunity you know this is going to be for a lot of for a lot of us that are going to accumulate in these last four months of 2023. If you look at historic you know historical data, if you look at historical performance, I need you to take a look at the performance of Bitcoin during the halving year. During the halving year, Bitcoin tends to be positive for the majority of the year. So if you go back and you look at 2016, this is 2016 right here. Bitcoin was positive in February, so that's one month. Bitcoin was positive in April, so that's two months. Bitcoin was positive in May, so that's three months. Bitcoin was positive in June, that's four months. Bitcoin was positive in September, that's five months. Bitcoin was positive in October, that's six months. Bitcoin was positive in November, that is seven months. And Bitcoin was also positive in December, and that is eight months. So during the halving year, Bitcoin was positive eight months out of the 12 months. And that was in 2016. Now, let's take a look at 2020. 2020, another halving year, Bitcoin was positive in January. That's one month. Bitcoin was positive in April. That's two months. Bitcoin was positive in May. That's three months. Bitcoin was positive in July. That is four months. Bitcoin was positive in August. That is five months. Bitcoin was positive in October, six months. Bitcoin was positive in November, seven months. Bitcoin was also positive in December, and that is eight months. So just like 2016, eight months out of the 12 months of the halving year, Bitcoin was very positive. So what that means is that you have literally four more months of the opportunity to accumulate what I personally believe is the last accumulation phase. If you want to maximize returns, if you want to, to be in the highest performers in this bull market, you have September, you have October, you have November, and you also have December of 2023 to get your positions right. You got to get your positions right in these next four months. Because based on historical performance in 2024, we are more likely to have eight months of positive returns. And what that means is that you should not try to speculate one month Bitcoin is going to be negative. Your job in 2024 is to have already you're already in a position. You're not speculating what the price of Bitcoin is going to do. And your job is to simply, you know, hold on to your position and think about your exit strategy. So you're thinking about profit taking. In 2024, it's not the time to think about, you know, constructing your portfolio. This is exactly what you're doing right now. If you haven't already, you know, constructed your portfolio, this is the time to do so. This is the time to sit down 
And this is a time to make sure that you have your entire portfolio before the end of December. Because if you miss December in 2024, when the market takes off, you are going to find yourself, you know, having to chase after the price. And as an investor, you know, that is the worst thing that you want to do. The last thing that you want to do is have to chase after the price. So what we have right now is an incredible, an incredible opportunity. The challenge is, is that in these last four months, we are going to have either three negative monthly performance and only one positive month, or it could be 50-50, right? September could be negative, October could be positive, November negative, and December positive. But the thing is, you know, I don't think this is a time to cherry pick, you know, which month is going to be negative so you can take advantage of that. And I think this is a time to, you know, this is how much I want to invest in the market. And the goal should be to dollar cost average from the first day of September, which is today, until the last day of November. And, you can, and if you can dollar cost average from today until the last day of December, I think your average price is going to be below of, you know, wherever the price of Bitcoin is going to be by the end of December. You know, that, I can promise you, is more likely to be the result. I think if you can start to dollar cost average into this market, from, from this date until the last day of, November, uh, of December, your average price is more likely to be below wherever the price of Bitcoin is going to be. So, this is an incredible opportunity right here. These next four months are an incredible opportunity. You know, I don't think you should still be in the accumulation phase in 2024. Because if you are, I think what that tells me is that you were, you know, trying to, you know, fish the bottom and the market got away from you. And now you are trying to catch up, right? Now you are, you know, chasing after the price. Uh, now you are, you know, waiting for, you know, bigger pullbacks so you can get back into a position. But if you look at the data, if you look at historical performance of Bitcoin during the halving year, you have eight months of positive returns out of the 12 months. So if you are going to try to speculate, you know, which out of the 12 months is going to be the months where Bitcoin is negative so you can take advantage of that. And I think that is, a, you know, that is going to be a very difficult position for you to be in. And more likely, you are going to make a lot of mistakes. And again, you know, the biggest thing that you don't want to do as an investor is having to chase, you know, after something that has already moved, you know, having to wait on the sideline, you know, waiting for a pullback that may actually never come. And even if, if a pullback does come, you know, it doesn't come exactly to where you were actually expecting it. Uh, you are going to see pullbacks because pullbacks are part of a, of a bull market. But remember, you get a pullback, but instead of getting a, a lower low, you are actually going to get a lower high. Okay? So you want to make sure that you understand that part of investing. You are going to get pullbacks during a bull market, but those pullbacks are going to be lower highs. Okay? And you don't want to be the person that is buying lower highs. You want to be the person that is accumulating lower lows. You're getting in at a discount. You are getting in when the market is depressed. You are getting in when the market is 90 plus percent from its all time high. You're getting in when, you know, people are leaving the market. And that is a perfect time, you know, to make an investment. So, these next four months, 
I think represent an opportunity. And if you want to outperform, you know, 99.99% of all crypto investors, then I think, you know, this is the window right here. Like this, the smaller window that you have, you know, maybe not smaller because it is four months, but these next four months are extremely important.